Hi good people, how are you all? I am back again with another video as you all can see. Let me show you all. <laughs> Shake your bum bum. I am back to form, back to shape. Now I can go run, do my exercise. Okay? So I want to show you all what is my is in my clinic bag or my my baby bag that I normally use to go out with it whenever I to go. Yeah. So, oh Jesus. Just to give you a sneak peek, a picnic. So, this is the bag here. <laughs> Today I was outside with the princess. I had some parents to go and do baguette. I use some of the clothes. Of course, she messed up the one she had, so I had to use. So right now, before I go to sleep, for me not to forget, I have to restock back the bag. Okay. But before that, let me show you what is inside. I have wipes. I have mittens. The reason I swear I normally put on the mittens on her is because she keeps on scratching her face and pulling her hair she do hold the hair tight like she and scratching like right now if you see her face she have some marks not me pulling her face scratching her face because i don't have nails long nails i don't make sure i have a good number of pumpers one two three four five six but i don't add in one more because i use like i use about two today so i don't make sure i have pumpers in and of course, I don't make sure I have a vest, like two or three vests, socks, hat, because you never know. I have this one. Whenever you want to bapa, you put it here, you put her, then you bapa so she don't mess up, mess up the clothes. And of course, I have a rag. This kind of rug I use the same rug to wash her and the same rug I don't walk with it like sometimes when she mess up I just wipe her because I realize I can't use the mm. and these ones are a clothes that I have but still I have to take and I normally have a bib so I'm going to add on another bib extra bib because she's a spitty baby she spits a lot and sometimes when I'm feeding her clothes I introduce bottle. I mean she get the breast milk but I feed her through the bottle. So she get the milk through the bottle. So I'm gonna show you all. So I'm going to fold all the clothes properly that I'm putting inside the bag. Okay. So everything fits in the bag properly. Watch this. I don't push in like three or four blocks. Change the blocks because you don't know. Sometimes it's outside all day and you don't know what's going to happen. You see, all our ones is. Right now I'm still putting on one season my baby. Mm -hmm. and, and I have the long one, longer one seat. To me I think I prefer using this longer one seat because whenever I put on this one at least she's able to keep on her socks. But the other one, the smaller one, trust me, she'll be Sometimes when you're working without checking, you insist you only have one pair of socks. But she doesn't keep on socks in a foot there. So I have one six too. These ones. I make sure she has them all. Somebody was putting something in 
cosa? Oh. I think you boil already. When you see that thing, man. You see? You base them. And then now, uh, I have a socks. I don't have like two pairs of socks. The gas, replacing gas, and then I have like two hats. Sometimes you have a hat and they fall off, and then I have this. I guess I told you what I don't use with it. And I have to dip, and I have this thing to wipe her off. I realized the the wipes they have some chemicals so whenever you use the wipe to wipe a face because trust me some babies are too sensitive the palm cards I have this my wipes I have a changing powder The changing card is to use it whenever she's told and I, I have to stop somewhere to change her. I put this one. Change her. And of course I have to restock some mycans too because I only have one pair. This one. And then I have this um, the light blankets to cover her, maybe when I want to breastfeed or I want to rest her down somewhere to relax. The light blankets, others have them like two, sometimes she may, others have this ones, two of them. And of course I have my umbrella which is in the car, and I have the A and D, others have two of the A and D for diaper rash. As others have to put in a thing, others put it in a in a bag. I I just take it out. Others have the A and D, and of course I have my baby grip water because she still up the gas colic. Whenever the gas come, I work with this. And apart from that, I have a lotion too to lotion her skin. This one Johnson. Have this. And I have Vaseline too. So yes, that's all. The umbrella is in the vehicle. The A and D um, is by my fancy mother room, bedroom. So, and that's all. And that's how my bag is. You see everything fit properly and neat. Yeah. Others have Vaseline too, just in case. I don't have the A and D. I don't use the Vaseline, but I prefer to use the A and D because that one is uh, that one is more how you call it medical. And that's all, guys. And the next thing I wanted to show you all is for those women who don't like to breastfeed, they don't like babies in their breast. You don't want to see a child sucking your breast okay this one is called as you can see i don't know if you can see double electric breast pump okay i have two i have one that is open already that i'm using and i have this one i'm not using that's that's called blessing okay so this one is an electro both of them that i have is electro to wake up because she's sleeping over there. She's sleeping in a car seat. <laughs> Princess is sleeping.
let me get this thing. It just falls off. So I have the breast pump. It's an electrical, okay? So this breast pump comes with the cups. The pump, okay? As you all can see. This one's a little top cover. You can feed the baby with this bottle and at the same time you can use them to pump your milk. But right now I want to show you how mothers connect them. So I have this to cup. And I have the pump. You see? This one here. This one. Whenever you're cleaning, you only clean this one. So this one is like this one is the number one pump. And whenever you're washing it, you take off everything. So this one goes in here. This one goes in here. Right here. And this one goes in here. Okay. Then you close it with this bottom. will go flat and I don't want that because I still want to breastfeed my child 
until she three, four, five years. Okay. Yeah. And that's all, guys. Anyway, my princess is over there. As you can see, she's in the car seat. Let me tell you a story about uh, being in a car seat on the bed. I don't know what happened with the crib. My baby don't like to sleep in a crib. I don't know if it is by mistake or what. Before she used to sleep in a crib. In a crib, right here. All of a sudden she just goes. Sometimes when she was drinking a milk and she choking, she coughing, you know, when she lie down, she would choke and she would vomit. And then, my fancy mother decided for two days we put in a cassette to monitor her. Because whenever we put in a clip, sometimes we won't be rid of a sleep. So we monitor for the bringing out. And from the moment we put this child in a cassette, she don't sleep on a crib. If you put her in a crib, she don't wake up. So, again, another mistake we did is rocking her. Like, the only way she can sleep is after you done rock her. Okay? But anyway, I'm enjoying the motherhood. That's why she's sleeping in my bed. <laughs> and I can sleep. But I don't really put her on my bed because I don't know how to sleep. The next thing you see, we put lying on the head of and my baby ever just buy that make sure so if I have any cassette it's easier for me to monitor her because she's uncovering herself she 